Hello and welcome to our webinar for the Associate of Applied Business in Information Technology here at UC Online. Our presenters today are myself, uh, Alex Ratliff. I'm a Senior Enrollment Services Advisor at UC Online. We've also got Suguna Chunder, PhD, uh, the Program Coordinator for the IT program. And we've got Christy Hall, uh, Assistant Professor and Information Technology at, at UC Claremont. Hello. Today's agenda, uh, some of the things we're going to be covering, we'll go over some program highlights. We're going to view a testimonial video from one of our recent graduates. We'll talk a little bit about curriculum, uh, the admission requirements and application process, uh, some important dates to look forward to, um, tuition and financial information, and we also have a certificate that we will touch on as well. Uh, for the first part, the program highlights, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it over to Saguna and Christy, uh, just to kind of talk about some of the things that you'll experience in the IT program. Ours is a two-year associate's degree program, but students uh, have the ability to continue their four-year to their four-year bachelor's either at UC online in the Bachelor's of Information Technology or to any other bachelor's program around the country. UC is renowned across the country as a very good institution of higher education. We also have supportive faculty who have industry experience and we have support, start to graduation support. And I would hand this uh, section over to Alex to explain more in more detail. Yeah, thanks, Yagana. So, um... We, we like to make sure that from the second you come in as a prospective student all the way through graduation, uh, you have the support that you need every step of the way. So as an enrollment services advisor, my job is to answer any questions you have about the application process, help you tracking down transcripts, um, answering questions about the program and what your experience will be like, um, and really just kind of making sure you're supported all the way up until the, the time that you are offered admission into the program and accept your spot in the program. Um, at that time, then you'll work with a student success coordinator through UC Online, um, who will work with you to help you do things like register for classes, troubleshoot any kind of tech issues. Um, and you'll also have an academic advisor to, to kind of support you, help you plan, create a graduation plan, discuss transfer credit, um, and then also make sure you're, you're registering for the correct classes each semester as well. So again, like Saguna said, you know, we really want to make sure that you're supported start to finish. Um, and we also, you know, we opt for very flexible scheduling. Um, so a, a lot of the students, you know, in this program are non-traditional, uh, have full-time jobs, family uh, commitments and responsibilities as well. So we really want to make sure that your, your class schedule um, really works for you. So the courses are asynchronous, meaning there's, there's never a time where you actually need to log on at any specific time. Um, you really can work around your busy schedule uh, to get your assignments done and, and hit those weekly deadlines um, at, at a time that works for you. Um, and then like Saguna mentioned, this uh, this program transitions, transitions seamlessly into the, uh, the BSIT, the bachelor program. Um, so a lot of different options, whether you want to jump right into your IT career or continue your education. Um, and then now we'll go ahead and look at, like I said, uh, a testimonial video from one of our recent graduates. Just kind of see what their experience in the program was like. There was a point in high school when I was kind of uncertain about what I wanted to do. Going into college, I was not confident in my ability to get a job. Working in information technology, I didn't feel like I was a good programmer. Taking classes online at UC, I've always wanted to know, you know, can college provide me valuable tools that I can use in the workforce? It was really one of my first classes at UC Online that kind of inspired a love of technology. So in information technology, the first thing that you'll learn is multiple programming languages. Java and c -sharp, both of those are very common object-oriented programming languages that many companies use. You'll also learn a lot about web development, programming languages such as HTML, CSS, JavaScript. I think one of the first misconceptions of information technology is that you don't get to interact with 
team of individuals. One of the things then that I've enjoyed most about information technology is getting the opportunity to work with my professors and meet virtually with students to work on projects. All of that has been a great experience and really kind of dispelled the myth that information technology is something for people who are antisocial and don't like interacting with their students. Definitely in the information technology program, there's an emphasis on problem solving. What's the best way to code a solution to a specific problem? Solving real world challenges. And it's something that is an in-demand skill. The professors at UC online are amazing, especially in online classes, have been able to provide a lot of valuable resources and providing a flexible classroom environment that doesn't feel like you're alone. So in the fall, I will be a co-op student at London Computer Systems working on property management software as a C-sharp developer. It's great to see that kind of the skills I learned in the classroom are translating to the real world. UC made me feel like now I can learn anything, and I think that has been one of the great skills that the program has given me. So that's great, and you can see from Isaiah's experience that um, not only a little bit about the content, which we'll jump into next um, of the program, but, oh, sorry, I guess I skipped ahead a little bit. Um, so the not only the content um, of the program, but um, also uh, the human aspect. So, you know, interacting with others, that team orientation, um, and, you know, just, just a, a good way to see what one student's experience in the program was like. Um, at this time, I'll turn it back over to uh, Saguna and Christy to kind of talk about <clears throat> the curriculum a little bit. So th this slide shows you an overview of the core IT classes that a prospective student would take in our program, as well as some of the general education uh, classes. Uh, you will take classes in programming, in networking, in uh, databases, in web development, and in systems administration. So this is not an exhaustive list. This is just an overview of some of the core IT classes and the IT areas that students will be exposed to. Alex? And then uh, for the next topic, we had the, uh, the Information Technology Tech Club. So we'll let Christy talk about that a little bit. Yes, the Tech Club has been a big part of our IT program over the years and been a very active club on campus. And um, then when the pandemic hit, um, we took the tech, tech Club virtual. So we have meetings that are both on campus and online. So if you're close to campus and you want to come in for a meeting, you can do that. Or if you're not as close to campus, you can attend virtually. We're very active. We do a lot of things, um, a lot of fun things like gaming tournaments and things like that. But we also um, take input from the students that join the tech club and do activities that they want to do. Things like bringing um, people in to talk about internships and what the job market is like and things like that. So we are very active. Another very active group on campus who I am also involved with is the Phi Theta Kappa chapter at UC Claremont. Phi Theta Kappa is an honor society. So if you come into the program and you complete 12 hours and you have a high grade point average, you will be invited to join Phi Theta Kappa, um, which looks really good on your resume once you graduate. Um, and um, we're very active. We do a lot of service learning and things like that. And we have big induction ceremonies. And um, so we, we do a lot uh, around the community in the Phi Theta Kappa chapter. Awesome. Thank you, Christy. And I can also echo that we've gotten a lot of really good feedback from our online students as well um, about these, these opportunities to network, you know, um, really feel like you have that learning community with your fellow students, especially if you're not in a, a traditional campus environment. That can go a long way um, just as another layer of support and interest um, just to kind of make you feel at home in the program. And then now I'll go over just what the admission requirements are and kind of what that uh, process looks like a little bit. So uh, this program is open to first year and transfer students. Um, the process is pretty similar. Uh, really, the only hard academic requirement is a high school diploma or equivalency. So, you know, a lot of our students have some previous college experience, but if you don't, that's okay. This is the perfect place for you to start. Um, 
the the way that it works is you essentially you fill out our online application which takes just about 10 or 15 minutes um, and then we do need official transcripts from um, any and all colleges or universities a student has previously attended um, if a student has 24 or more college credits then the high school transcripts are waived anything less than 24 college credits the high school transcripts are also required and of course if you're, if you're a high school graduate or if you have your equivalency that's the only thing that you'll need to submit um, as far as official documentation. Um, and again, the process is pretty much the same uh, for transfer students. And my job as an enrollment services advisor is to help you through that process, answer any questions you have, um, help you, you know, find where to where to order your transcripts from or, or who to contact at your old school um, to get those sent over. So it really is we try to make it as painless as possible. Um, and there's no essays, you don't have to have any kind of standardized test scores, anything like that. So um, it really is a pretty streamlined process. And again, uh, lots of support and help here to answer any questions you have about that should those questions come up. Um, and then as far as the academic calendar, so um, this program admits students three times a year. So you have your fall, spring and summer semesters. Uh, the next big dates to look out for uh, is our upcoming June, Ju oh, sorry, July 1st application deadline. And that's for the fall semester, which begins classes on August 21st. Uh, the next deadline after that will be November 15th of next year, uh, or sorry, of this year. Um, and then that's for spring term, term, which begins January 8th. And then generally these dates are gonna be pretty similar year over year. So we won't have the exact dates nailed down for the following school year um, until those get a little closer. But if you're planning ahead and maybe you're still in high school or um, it's just not the right time for you yet. You can kind of expect these dates to be fairly similar from year to year. Um, so always a couple of months ahead uh, for the application deadline, um, which is great because it gives you time to get all your orientation done, meet with your advisors, all that kind of stuff. Um, so, you know, it's it's like any uh, anything we, we always say it's, it's best to start as soon as possible. Um, but, you know, just kind of check on the website or reach out to an advisor if you're you're not sure about when the next available start date for you is. Um, and then as far as tuition, another great benefit to uh, our online students in the AIB IT program, um, if you're an Ohio resident, the tuition rate is $288 per credit hour. I always find that it's best to break it down by credit hour uh, because you're totally in charge of your schedule. So you could take as many or as few classes as you prefer to each semester, and you're only charged for the classes that you take. Anything beyond a full-time semester schedule, um, so 12 credit hours or more, there is a flat rate. So that is a possible way that you can save money, uh, but you'll work with your advisor um, to figure out the best schedule for you. And then again, you can always kind of add more classes, start slow, uh, scale back if things like work or, or uh, different life commitments get busy. Um, so again, at the end of the day with our online students, we want flexibility and convenience to be one of the, the main factors and, um, and benefits to you as the student. Um, and then another great highlight is for non-Ohio residents, you know, traditionally with in-person uh, college programs, tuition can be as much as double for out of state. Um, but for our online programs, it's only a $15 per credit surcharge. So, um, you know, another really great way we have students all over the country and even internationally. Um, so, you know, just because you may live in California or New York um, or anywhere in between, this program is still, uh, you know, definitely a great option for you. Um, and then another benefit is of this is, you know, this program being hosted through our regional campus, UC Claremont. Um, you get the UC Claremont tuition rate, which will save you a lot of money long term for the first two years. Um, even if you do plan on continuing to earn your bachelor's, this is a great place to start because it is going to save you quite a bit of money in tuition for those uh, first two years, plus you're in your associate degree while you're at it. So. Um, definitely some some good, uh, you know, win-win as, as I see it for the student um, as far as the tuition goes. And then along those lines, financial aid, um, we encourage, it's not required, but we encourage all of our online students to fill out the FAFSA. Um, a lot of the students in our program qualify for at least some Pell Grant. Um, and then you can also uh, figure out if you are uh, eligible for any kind of um, federal student loans um, or any other grants or scholarships. Um, we also have a payment plan option, which essentially breaks your full tuition bill into three installments, which, which more or less comes out to a monthly payment. 
Um, and then we work really closely. We're a yellow, yellow ribbon school. So we work really closely with the VA uh, for military benefits as well. Um, and then we also have a university to business scholarship program. So uh, your company that you work for may already be a partner. And if not, uh, that's an opportunity that is no cost to the employer. And that's a benefit for employees, spouses, and dependents. So um, if that's something that you're interested in, we can definitely uh, provide you information on those opportunities as well. And then at this time, I'm going to turn it back over to Saguna to talk a little bit about the IT certificate program. In addition to our associates in IT, we also offer a, a two-semester, uh, one-year information technology certificate. And again, it is if you you can do it full time or you can do it part time. If you do it part time, then it takes a little longer. But uh, this is a means by which you can test the waters to see if you're really interested in information technology. Uh, instead of committing to a two year associates, you can try a one year information technology certificate. And uh, this would help you make a decision as to whether you want to pursue an associates or you can leave with an information technology certificate uh, and uh, attempt to get jobs. You know, you can get entry level jobs with the skills that you will gain when you complete an IT certificate. Thanks, Saguna. Yeah, and something that I always talk with about students is I kind of look at this as almost a checkpoint. Um, it gets you that, you know, that first credential and that way, like Saguna said, you can uh, jump right into the field and start working while you continue your education. Um, and it also transfers into the AAB program. So you get your certificate and those credits count towards your yeah. associate degree. So you don't have to stop there. So a great, um, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, and then Alex, I, I did forget to mention and thank you for highlighting it. So if in the process of taking a certificate or completing a certificate, you feel you want to continue on with your associates, all the credits from the certificate will roll into the associate. And thank you for highlighting that, Alex. Yeah, no problem. And then we'll move into some frequently asked questions. Um, so, you know, these are questions that we all get a lot, um, you know, on the front end as an enrollment advisor. This is something that I, uh, things that I talk with prospective students a lot. Um, and some of them, you know, I'll kind of have Saguna and, and Christy answer um, a little bit, but, um, and some of them I'll kind of touch on. But the first one, um, I think I'd like to, uh, to, to pose to Saguna. Um, a, lot of, a lot of students ask, what jobs can I get after graduation? So after I earn my associate in IT, what are some of the kind of um, career opportunities I might have? So Alex, let me answer like question one and question two together because they really tie in very well. Let me answer Great. question two and I will answer question one after that. So the best thing about the program is if you're genuinely interested in IT, this is a program that's a broad-based introductory program into IT. You know, there are many sub-disciplines in IT, like programming, web development, network administration, information security. So the students in our program take classes in all these areas within the IT field. So they get a very strong foundational knowledge in these fields. And after graduation, we have students who pursue jobs immediately. And we have students who go on to a bachelor's program and we have students who do both where it's possible, right? So the best thing about the program is the foundational knowledge you will gain and you'll get a clearer understanding of your particular interest within the broad IT field. And depending upon your interest, the jobs you can get is as an introductory or a beginning level, entry level programmer, an entry level database administrator, an entry level web developer, an entry level, you know, systems administrator. So I feel that, you know, like question two leads into question one. So that's why I took this opportunity to answer both questions together. And I hope, you know, students find this useful. Perfect, thank you, Saguna. Um, and then I'll just kind of continue on some of these um, I can definitely answer as well. Um, so that third bullet, how easy is it to enroll in the program? I kind of touched on this already, but uh, you know, my short answer would be very easy. Um, we really try, you see online, to kind of break down some of those traditional barriers uh, that students experience with the college application process. So um, again, really essentially, you fill out the, the online application form, which takes about 10 minutes, and then you have official transcripts sent to us. Um, from then, once we get your official transcripts, within about two weeks, you'll receive your official decision. Um, and again, as long as you have a GED or a high school diploma, 
um, you can expect that to be an offer letter. So that's that's essentially the entire application process. It's very simple, very streamlined, uh, which is something we strive for here. Um, again, just to kind of make it, whether you are right out of high school, uh, maybe you tried some college a few, you know, a few years ago or a few decades ago, um, and you're trying to, you know, come back and finish what you started. We really want to make that um, as, as seamless and as easy as possible for, for any student, no matter where they're coming from. Um, and then that kind of leads into this, this fourth question, why should I choose UC online? And that's a great question. You know, we know there's a lot of great programs out there, um, and it's a big decision. It's a big decision for your time, your finances, your family. Um, it's a big commitment. So in addition to being a 200-year-old research institution, um, UC has been in the online academic space for 20 years. Um, so, you know, we were kind of a pioneer um, in online learning. And we, like Saguna mentioned, we have a, a great reputation um, nationwide and even globally um, as far as what we've been able to do with our uh, campus-based programs. And then that trans trans translates uh, into our online offerings as well. Um, and then, you know, of course, the all the support that we mentioned. So I'm here. My entire job is to help you as a student um, answer those difficult questions. Make sure that we are the best fit for you. Um, and, you know, make sure that you're starting at, at the right program um, and just kind of have all of those all those support systems that you need in place. Um, and then, you know, the final question, uh, what would you say to someone on the fence about enrolling in this program? Um, Saguna kind of touched on this a little bit already um, as far as, you know, having the certificate as an option. Um, but I, I'll let her kind of, uh, you know, expand on that a little bit as far as what's a student who's not quite sure they're ready for this. You know, what would you what would you say to that student, Saguna? So if you're curious about IT, you want to figure out whether your interest is deeper and you want to pursue it, you know, I would suggest starting off with the certificate, you know, testing the water, seeing whether this is right for you. And for those who are generally interested in IT, you know, this is a challenging program. It is a rewarding program. You know, the challenge uh, returns with you know great rewards for students whether in terms of satisfaction from learning a very challenging topic or being in a challenging discipline that constantly keeps changing but it's very rewarding and jobs are there great jobs are out there so again you know I don't want to downplay the challenge of the program but I also want to highlight the rewards of the program and in addition to well-paid jobs you'll have a very satisfying career as well so again it depends on the student interest you know whether you want to start off by testing the waters with the certificate or you already know that you have a deep interest in it and you want to be challenged at the same time, the work that you put in will be rewarded in terms of a satisfying career and, you know, a well-paid career. So I hope I have provided some insights into what you can expect from the certificate as well as from the associates program. Awesome. Thank you, Saguna. Mm -hmm. um, that essentially concludes our presentation today. As far as next steps, if you are interested, how do you get in touch with us? So you can, we have our contact information um, here on this slide. You can reach out to any of us, but the easiest way is just to go to our website, go to UC online, find the program that you're most interested in. Uh, there's a button right on every page that says connect with an advisor. So you click on that button, you fill out a short interest form. Um, you just basically select the program that you want to learn more about and the semester that you think you would most likely be interested in enrolling. Um, and then one, an enrollment advisor will reach out to you and kind of walk you through the whole process and, and all of the uh, those steps that we discussed today. So uh, thank you very much for joining us. We look forward to hearing from you. Um, and of course, you can follow us on social media as well. Uh, we're on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn. Um, and then, you know, again, at the end of the day, just, you know, feel free to go to our website and that's a, that's a great place to start your, your journey here at UC online. Thank you.